Thank you. Uh, this is addressed to uh, His Eminence or anyone else on the panel. Um, I read the entire Instrumentum Laborious. I read the whole thing. And, you know, meaning no disrespect to anyone who was involved with it, but what I sensed was a lack of the supernatural in the document, even though it was kind of permeated with God talk. Uh, a tremendous amount of verbiage and also uh, a lot of what you would, you know, a lot of um, we have to have more committees, we have to have more programs, we have to... Is there any way, is there any reason why the documents are written that, that way and is there any chance of, you know, in the future having these documents kind of have a more scholastic and Thomistic approach that is more organized and with respect not as exhausting to read. Thank you very much for your question. <laughs> we, we can pray to, to uh, St. Jude for that. That's, that's an act. Of course, of course I'm a Thomist, so that would be my aspiration as well, but they don't ever call me to help write these documents. <laughs> <laughs>